Let's take a look at this example. This time we have typical designing problem. Okay, we're supposed to design the dual input balance output amplifier using the Zener constant current bias circuit. So from where we're supposed to start? First, we have to look what is given. We have given current I E3 is equal 4 milliamps. So this is the current which will go through this resistor, okay? And we're supposed to realize that the base current is very small comparing with the value of the current I E3, I can say, okay? So I can say that my I E3 is approximately equal to I C3, okay? That's why I'm going to write it. This is very important. So I'm going to write that I E3 is approximately equal to I C3, and this is equal 4 milliamps. You're supposed to also remember that the sum of currents IE1 and IE2 is going to give me current IC3. So if I want to find the current IE1 and IE2, I can simply write the formula that I E1 is equal I E2, and this is nothing else, just half of my IC3. So I simply write that this is IC3 divided by 2, where IC3 is equal 4 milliamps, and divided by 2 is equal 2 milliamps. Okay. Next, I suppose to find the value of small re. Small re is equal 26 millivolts over ie1 or ie2. We can use either current. And this is equal 26 millivolts over 2 milliamps. This is equal 13 ohms. Okay. Next, if I have AC emitter resistance, I can use the formula for gain. Differential gain is equal RC over small re. If you are going to solve this formula for RC, we are going to get the value of resistor R1 and R2. So RC is equal differential gain times small re. So now we're supposed to plug in the values. So I have RC is equal, the gain is given 50 times small re, 13 ohms. Okay, so this is equal 50 times 13 is equal 650 ohms. So now we can say that we found the values of resistors R1 and R2. They are 650 ohms. 650 ohms. Now we're supposed to find the value of resistor R3 and resistor R4. So what we're supposed to do first? In order to find the resistance R3, I suppose to find the voltage across resistor R3. In order to find the voltage across resistor R3, I suppose to find voltage at the base of transistor Q3. In order to do so, I suppose to simply write the KVL equation. I simply write that VB3 is equal VZ plus VEE. Okay? Because uh, keep in mind that the VEE is going to be connected to, to this terminal. Okay? And this is going to be connected to the ground. This is my ground. And this is my VCC, of course. And this is going to be connected to the 
uh, resistors R1 and R2, but I'm not going to, to draw it, just uh, simply explain you that the voltage between base Q3 okay, and ground is the sum of these two voltages, this one and this one. So I simply write that Vz is equal 5.1 volts so I'm supposed to write 5.1 volt plus negative 15 volts and this is equal negative 9.9 .9 volts okay so this is my VB tray next I supposed to find VE. VE3 is equal VB3 minus VBE. So voltage at the base minus VBE will give me voltage at the emitter. So VB3 we found is equal negative 9.9 .9 volts minus point seven volts so V E three is equal negative ten point six volts. Now we are ready to find voltage across resistor R three. So V R three is equal V E three minus V E E. Okay this voltage minus voltage at this terminal of my resistor R3 will give me voltage across resistor R3. So this is equal. VE3 we found is equal negative 10.6 volts minus negative 15 volts. So I'm going to write over here VR3 is equal 4.4 volts okay so this is the voltage across resistor R3 now I can find the resistance of resistor R3 R3 is equal VR3 over IR3 of course I'm using ohms law VR3 we found is equal 4 0.4 volts over IR3 is equal to the current which is given IE3 okay so this is 4 milliamps so I'm going to write over here 4 milliamps this is IE3 or um, IR3 so this is the same value 4 milliamps and this is equal 1.1 kilohms okay 4.4 volts divided by 4 milliamps is equal 1.1 kilohms so we found this resistor okay this resistor is 1.1 kilo next we're supposed to find the voltage Okay, across resistor R4. Okay, so voltage across resistor R4. Okay, VR4 is nothing else, just the voltage at the base of transistor Q3, and we found that voltage already. That voltage is equal negative 9.9 .9 volts. Okay, this is the same like V. B trade is the same thing. Next, we're supposed to find the current which goes through this resistor. The formula says okay that I R4 is equal approximately 1.2 of I Z T, where I Z T is the minimum current required to cause the Zener diode to conduct in the reverse region okay so this 
this parameter you will take from the catalog. Okay, and in our case, IZT is equal 20 milliamps. So I'm going to write that this is equal 1.2 times 20 milliamps. And this is equal 24 milliamps. Now I can find the resistance of resistor R4. R4 is equal VR4 over IR4, where VR4 is, is equal 9.9 volts. I'm going to use the absolute value because I'm looking for the resistance over IR4, 24 milliamps. Okay, this is equal 9.9 .9 divided by 24 exponent 3 negative. This is equal 412.5 ohms. This is 412.5 ohms. Okay, so I can say that the problem is solved.